Emery, you've nailed this. How short, how tenuous is the path from $90 Brent to $100 Brent? I would say mostly stable from here. Famous last words. Uh, I don't. I don't mean like there won't be any volatility, but I do think the big move up has happened. You know, we've been calling for ninety-one dollar Brent uh, in Q4, so we are pretty much there. Yeah. A bit, a bit sooner than expected, but pretty much there. I do, look. Could we touch hundred dollars? Of course we can. Are we expecting prices to average above hundred dollars just yet? Without an outage? No. I think what we are probably going to see is again what you guys were discussing earlier. Things are slowing in the economy, uh, but oil demand is still very, very strong, don't get me wrong. Um, and uh, Saudi Arabia will keep supplies in check to ensure that inventories continue to draw. That's where we are right now. Am I correct that the move 75-ish up to 90, demand is not diminished? I mean, the elasticity of demand here on the price movement doesn't seem to be evident. Demand just continues, right? Absolutely. I mean, $90, I really don't think there is any change versus 75 I've always been saying that you don't really get a change till it's about $120, right? Yeah, and yeah. then, um, and, but, but having said that, Tom, I will highlight that even though crude has moved from 75 to $90, what has uh, moved in some ways the opposite direction are diesel and gasoline cracks. Even when Brent was at 80, you had gasoline and diesel cracks at 30 and 40. So what you and I were paying at the pump, sometimes even higher if you're based in Europe because of taxes, was say 120 to $130 for barrel. Now those product cracks are coming off a bit and crude has gone up. So it's a redistribution, uh, but the point still stands. Below 120, you don't really see an impact on demand.